Scotty is the first warrior type that I've used, and he's pretty badass. So Scotty's ability is very self-explanatory. Um, when you use it, he's going to basically make an AoE explosion around him, and this damages enemies as well as pushes them away, the smaller enemies. The bigger boss and the, ming and the uh, possessed minions, it doesn't really push away, but the smaller minions, it will push them away. So if you are surrounded by enemies, just use his explosive ability and it will push them back. And that's literally the main thing with his ability. Very easy, very simple to use. The main thing with Scotty as a warrior, and I'm sure most warriors in this case, would be to focus on the possessed units. So any possessed player, minion, or boss that appears, you want to be the person that is going up, running up, and trying to melee the crap out of it to get rid of it. And uh, trying to, if you're on microphone, try to get your other players to focus in on the possessed unit as well. Because the more people slapping on it, the more that the balance bar will be disrupted and you will cause them to stagger. And honestly, just to speak for every character, not just Scotty, one of the major things that I see players making mistakes with is not focusing on the possessed units. When a possessed unit, it doesn't matter if it's just a regular unit... Have your team focus on it and get rid of it as quickly as possible because these units are stronger, they're tougher, and they will cause damage if some one person is singled out and nobody else is paying attention. So try to get everybody to pay attention to the possessed unit and just tear it up. Blunt weapons are for staggering their balance bar to get them in a state where they can just be pounded on. And your sharp weapons are more for damage and dismemberment. So go with the style that you prefer, particularly with Scotty, especially if you get him up to level 25, his axe will swing faster and just be all around more dangerous as it causes uh, increased health, balance bar, and dismemberment damage. So in your, in your perks and everything, you want to concentrate on your sharp weapon damage. So that'll make his axe even more dangerous on top of what it already is. When you reach level 25, he's going to become a beast. One of his other passive abilities, Exposure Therapy, partially reduces your fear levels with every enemy you kill. And don't forget about this one, Collateral Damage. Your heavy melee attacks inflict additional damage to nearby enemies. So all of these things make Scotty a really good warrior. And that's honestly pretty much it. He's he's really easy to use as a warrior. And as a warrior, you just really want to focus on covering your teammates. It, whenever a possessed unit appears, you want to be over on that possessed unit really quick, giving it damage. If there's any other warriors on the team, get them over there too. Everybody should be just going to pound town on these possessed units. And they really won't last long. They're going to go down pretty quick, bosses included. I'm going to highlight over my perks that I use as well as all the other perks on his skill set tree. Uh, he's fun because you can use a blunt weapon or a sharp weapon build. I'm assuming it's pretty much the same with a lot of the other warriors. I have yet to get into them. But yeah, Scotty's my first and I'm really loving it. For a melee kind of a build, he's really fun. It's very interesting to not focus on picking up guns and such as I did with a lot of the other characters and am now focusing on shooting less with him as whereas with Cheryl and uh, Kelly I was actually getting into the guns a lot more and that's honestly pretty much it for Scotty he's real easy he's a, he's a good one to jump into he's a beast get him up to level 25 and he is just ridiculously a well-rounded warrior I can't wait to get into the others these videos have been really fun to make uh, I'm wondering if the devs are going to make a prestige player level. So when a player reaches a certain level, when they prestige, it just brings all your survivors and demons back down to level one again. But maybe you get a cool reward out of it. 
that's all I gotta say for Scotty, you guys. Keep playing, keep having fun. This game's amazing. They sold 500,000 units, which is almost one-fourth the amount of units that God of War sold in its first week of sales. This means that the game is going to be coming up with more content, features, hopefully game modes, and just it's uh, maybe a battle pass. I hope they come out with similar features as, you know, what DBD has done with their game to keep it alive, to keep people wanting to play, and uh, to keep the grind interesting. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back for probably Amanda next is the next one I'm thinking about doing. These have been really fun to make. You guys have a good one, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Bye-bye.